another shopping haul. We went to Ikea. We probably go like once a year. Yeah, right? once a year. There's, there's one, it's about two hours away from us. Yeah, two hours. Give or take, depending on traffic, because we have to like go through Austin to get to it. So, pretty, lots of traffic there. But this time we went, we actually did like a store tour with our camera. So I'm going to put that at the end. If you guys have never been to an Ikea, it's amazing. They have it broken up to where they actually like fully furnish a house. And then they tell you like the size of the house or apartment in this case, yeah. like apartment <clears throat> sizes. But it's really, really cool. So we went ahead and picked up some stuff and we wanted to show you guys. Some of it is because we are redoing our house. I know I've said that in a few videos, depending on when these videos go out. <laughs> but um, we are gonna do a house tour before and after, so you guys can see that. Um, our house is pretty, I don't wanna say trashed, but it's not pretty right now. We're like in between where we're like we were we were moving and now we're not, Yeah. so whatever. <laughs> and we, we, we'd done a few things and we had like done a couple things and stopped like halfway into them. And, right, like unfinished so. projects pretty much all over the place, a lot of unfinished products, projects, yeah. so. On to our haul. We did pick up three dressers. They were $25 a piece. Thir <clears throat> uh, 35. 35. They were $35 a piece. One of them we put together and we glued Lego boards on the sides and on the top and we got new knobs for it and that's what Bryce got for Christmas for his need, we give each kid a want, need, wear, read. So Bryce's need was Lego storage. So we made him a Lego dresser out of the $35 dresser. So I will take a picture now that it's all done and post it to my Instagram so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like because this box is heavy and I'm not gonna pick it up and show you guys. <laughs> it's really cool though. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. It's like unfinished wood. So if you wanted to paint it, you could paint it. Yeah. I was just worried that it would eventually get scratched up. Yeah. So we're leaving it natural for Bryce, but it is pretty cool and he loves it. So check out my Instagram if you haven't already and you'll see that picture on there. I will post it the same day that this video goes out. So you guys know that it'll be there. So we got three of those. Next, if you guys can't see the whole thing, but we got this cute little storage, like toy storage cart where it has this handle on it. You can pull it and then it has a little tail. You can pull it at that end. And again, it's the same, like unfinished or natural wood with just that little pop of green. It's got four wheels on it. And it this rolls is, real smooth. yeah, it rolls really smooth. And we just got this for the kids to, one, play with because they like to pull things and they like to play, you know, make believe and house and it's stuff a, like, like that. It's like a car and stuff. Right? Yeah. So, and also it's storage for them to shove all their toys in. So, how much was this? This was uh, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I think that's. Pretty good. I think it's a little pricey. You could probably get like a bigger storage bin for $30, but yeah. it's not going to be well made. This is yeah. really well made. It's really good, yeah. It's really easy to put together. It took about 10 minutes to put together. It's not hard at all. Mm -hmm. It's got a yellow bottom. It's really cute. Alright, next two items. If you guys watched Paige's Christmas present haul, you've already seen these items. We got them from Ikea, but we got her a lap desk for her laptop. She really likes, she's been into writing a lot lately and she likes <clears throat> to do it in bed. So she lays on her stomach with her laptop going like this and I just thought this might be a little better for her to have it at an angle. So how much was this? Five bucks. Five dollars for this. It's really hard. So a lot, like of the, a, lot of the, a lot of the little stuff, like little knickknack stuff, I think, is where you really get some value in Ikea because it's really well made and it's, and it's extremely cheap. Bright, extremely cheap, yeah, so um, it's pretty cool. So other thing from Ikea that we got Paige. <clears throat> start over? Yeah, you were talking though, so you need to finish. All right, so um, we got this light kit and it was $30. $30, but it's so really cool. turn it on here. Yeah, I already plugged it in, and it's just, it's four, four bars. Yeah, four bars. So she can, we're not quite sure where we're gonna put it yet in her room because, again, we're redoing her room. Um, she's almost a teenager, and her room is very, very girly right now, and she's at the point where mom and needs to be more, more teenager appropriate and not like baby girl. <laughs> so, so yeah, got her these lights. 
Not sure where she's gonna put them yet. Change the color, change the speed. I like the control too, it looks really cool. Yeah, a little controller. It almost looks it. like an iPod. It reminds yeah. me of an iPod. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. I like the yellow, personally. Yeah, yeah, yellow. That's his favorite color. <laughs> cool. All right, so we got that. <clears throat> That's not bad though for, for electronics. Yeah, or it's pretty good. I'm gonna move this as well. And then we got four cork boards and they all are framed in white. Yep. And they were uh, $6 a piece. $6 a piece. And <coughs> what I have planned... And they're big too. I mean, they're not like little. They're, yeah, no, they're, they're really good, good size. size. Does it say what size it is? Mm, no, I but I would say this is probably 12 foot by 2 foot probably. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. And then it came with tacks also. Yeah. Most cork boards don't come with <coughs> tacks. And, and the material to hang it with. Yeah. And the hanging material. Mm -hmm. So... So I got four of them because we have four kids and my idea to do with this and then some other things that I got that you'll see in a second is I'm going to create like a family command center. I'm going to hang these cork boards and then I'm going to hang, actually I'll just show you everything so I can tell you all together. I got four picture frames which were 99 cents each. Mm -hmm. So I got four white picture frames to match the white cork boards. And I'm going to put a picture of each one of my kids each year. I'm going to change it out in the four picture frames. I'm going to hang them under, above, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to hang them with the bulletin board. And then we got some hooks for Bleka. Bleka, it's all in the, yeah, yeah all in their language. Uh, these were $4.99. For $4.99, so $5 for four <laughs> hooks. And I'm going to hang the hooks with these, and that's going to be for their backpacks. So when they come home from school, they're going to hang their backpacks up. I will, I will have, and they'll have, they'll know what spot is theirs because of the picture. They're going to hang their backpack under their picture. And then the cork board I'm going to use for any like school notices that we need that are readily available for me. I might have like the school lunch calendar or anything like that. So for Rose and Pearl. They are, technically they're being homeschooled for preschool because mm -hmm. they're not school age yet and I'm not going to pay to put them in preschool because I'm a stay at home mom. There's no need for us to do that. So they won't really use this for another year and a half, yep, right? Yeah. Until they're five, they just turned four. So they'll be five and then they'll have another half a year until they'll be able to go into school. So really Paige and Bryce are going to get the most use out of it right now, but I'm really excited and I hope it turns out good. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. But again, I'll show you guys once I get it all set up. So the other two things, let's see. So we got, these are just little, um, what are these called? They're for the bottom of your of your furniture and stuff. They're, yeah, uh, because our downstairs is all wood flooring. It's a dollar ninety nine each and it comes with, it looks like eight pieces. And it's much more pricey at Home Depot or, yeah, or Lowe's and, for and these this is things. really good, I mean, Pretty good quality. We, well, I think we've always been happy with everything we've gotten at Ikea. Yeah. So, so we got three of those packages mm -hmm. um, just because we need to renew renew them on some of our furniture downstairs since we have wood floor. All right. Last thing, right? Yep. So the last thing we got are, I'm always trying to find out where our chip hooks are. I use them for chips, obviously, various bags. I also use them for like our frozen vegetable bags in the freezer because I don't use one whole one at a time. Specifically, the peas and carrots for fried rice. I only use half a bag at a time. <laughs> so I use a chip clip and I'm always having a hard time finding them. And I just thought these were neat. These are different. They're like, see if I can open it up. I don't have scissors or anything right it's here. It's $2 and you get 10 of these. So yeah, $2 for, for 10, 10 of them. And they're red, white, and blue. Is it? I can get it. I'm gonna use my vampire teeth. Some of it stayed in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> But I just thought these were neat. They also had like a huge bag of, I think it was like 32 of them or something mm -hmm. yeah. for like $2 more. And that's the one I originally had. And Mark was like, do you really need that many chip yeah. clips? <laughs> I was like, probably not. That much. Yeah, yeah, he's like, we buy too many chips. So let's try these out. Okay, cool. So you just, you could like oh, twist yeah. the bag, put it in yeah. here, and then just snap it closed. I like that. That's cool. That's nifty. That's another thing I love about Ikea is they have things that you're not going to walk into a typical brick and mortar store and find. I mean, yeah. I know Ikea is a brick and mortar store, but I'm talking like Walmart, Target. These items are a I mean, little different. If you want to, you can just keep it in this little tray all the time too. 
Anyway. Yeah, we won't. Ours, ours goes into our junk drawer. Okay. Our chip cooks just get thrown sure. into our junk drawer. So that's everything. So total, we spent what? We spent $230. $230. Actually, there is one more thing we bought for $0.99. Cents. We went ahead and picked up one of their IKEA bags because I always forget when we go to IKEA, they don't bag your stuff up. They scan it and then you're responsible for getting it to your car. So all this stuff was just sitting random. This was in a box, not put together. So was, there was no way we would be able to carry it all outside. So I bought a bag for 99 cents and this hopefully, I'll try to keep this in our car. So the next time we go, we will have it to carry our things out with. So that's everything. So we spent 230, mm -hmm. but I think that's pretty good because we got three dressers. We got this piece of furniture and then a lot of little things. What's yeah. the nice <clears throat> light set for Paige? And if you've never been to Ikea, you'll see it in our store tour, but they have yeah. everything there. Everything. Yeah, I mean, they have, you could, you could <clears throat> go there when you're, if you're building a house and pick out kitchen cabinets, you can pick out yep. your, dressers, or, um, um, appliances, right? Appliances for your kitchen, your bathrooms, yeah. all sorts of like everything. You could build your entire house with Ikea products. With Ikea products. Yeah. But I mean, they have linens there, they have dishes and pillows and they have artwork and rugs. I mean, everything you'll and, see. And really a lot of the, a lot of the little knickknack stuff, the little odds and ends stuff is really reasonably priced compared to what you would go yeah. find it at. They have any a other really, store. really cute kids area. That's yeah. my favorite area to go in. It's just so much fun just yeah. looking at everything. And you'll see in the video that I gravitate towards some of the kid items and I want to buy it. And then he's talked me out of it. This is the only thing that I came out of the store with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you see that in the video that I'm going to add in. He's just like, no, mm -mm, you can't get that. <laughs> no. <sighs> He's like my little inner ear talking mm -hmm. to me. No, 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 no. We don't need that. <laughs> but if you guys like Ikea, you liked our haul, stay tuned for the tour after, but give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button now. I do post every day. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So you can do your whole house, right, in Ikea? Yeah, I mean, you can do house, get your cabinets, everything, everything from Ikea if you want to. Appliances, cabinets, Big little stuff, architecture. The the little stuff. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that little plant, Ikea. 79 like, cents. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Just every, you could have your entire house in Ikea if you wanted to. Pretty cool. Thing, like gardening thing, like and stuff. Yeah. So they have lots of these places set up throughout here um, in IKEA where they do kind of a a staged home. This one's 590 square feet, and it's got chair space couch it's got a space for books well, entertainment smart. center yeah and then yep so it's a it's a closet that's cool it's all in 590 square feet and it's a little it's obviously not going to work for everybody <clears throat> yeah but if you're in an apartment, yeah. And I mean, that the appliances here, you can get those right from here. Yeah, so this, this is $999. That's not bad. thousand bucks. Double. Yeah. That's, I like that. That's cute. Optional open roof for air circulation if you're going to grow your own little things there. Dishwasher. So, I mean, the cabinets are from here. Everything. Fold out chairs to invite some more people in. A little stool for getting up to the top shelf. And then you come back in here and you've got a little bathroom area that they've got made up with focus. So that lavatory there, you can get there. 
Uh, that's for display purposes only, but the bathroom's got the storage. And then the, the, the bathroom. The kids room. And the bed. My light. And then you come into probably the master with dresser. You get the Ikea bed and there's storage on the sides over there. Storage everywhere. I'm going to pull this out on this other side and just show you guys what we're talking about here. But you got some storage underneath the bed for some linens and whatnot. So, anyway, you can get a lot, you can do a lot with stuff from Ikea, that's for sure. And it's pretty amazing, actually. Okay, guys, here's 300, here's what 375 square feet looks like. Got a little kitchen, very compact. Then you got the, uh, the sink, and then I bet it's in here. Yep, there's the uh, dishwasher. It's the eating space. There's lemonade bomb. Little bathroom. Yep. That's 375 square feet, I believe. So here's 270 square feet, guys. The sleeping area, a little day bed type awesome. arrangement. They turn this into pretty much two bookcases. They have something on this side. Yeah. And then they have something on this side. And so you got a little little kitchen in here with a microwave and a oven, fridge. They got storage and pantry back there. And they have a little, small little eating area. 270 square feet though. And then the bathroom area with sink and storage. Look at this shower. Storage. I mean, you have no room to turn around or anything. Oh wow, yeah. Tiny, tiny. Yeah, that's uh, I could, I could even hardly get in there. It's so thin. All right, we're in the kids area, which is pretty cool. You can see they have lots of uh, stuffed animals. They have lots of really awesome stuff in here. This is probably the coolest part of the uh, this is of the place. Yeah, this is her favorite part of the tour. She loves all the kids' junk, <laughs> but it's pretty amazing though. And the prices, I mean, if you got little kids, are amazing. This is twenty dollars. This artist. Yeah. Little Easel. stool. Easel is what it's called. Little stool. Yeah, these these rooms are pretty awesome. They put together and all the little knickknacks and whatnots that they have for the kiddos in here. It's pretty freaking amazing. Chair. Little pod chair. That's so cute. That's cool. Is it, how does it? How much does it close? It goes all the way. You can oh. get up in there and read. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. That's a cool desk. It's kind of got a little wave going to it. But I think these are. I mean, I feel like these are kind of rickety. These metal ones. Yeah, the wood ones are so much better. I feel like the wood ones are better. Hi, me. Look at this ball. Oh yeah. So funny. The lights up there with it. Yeah, I mean, the prices are really, really reasonable. It seems like in here. Um, so it's pretty cool to see. That you can come in here and you can buy. I mean, the, I guess the the plan for us is we're gonna pick a room in the house and kind of IKEA it up. We'll uh, bring you guys some videos on that. That'll be interesting to see. We're gonna start with the office, right? We think get the office all done up. Lemonade mom themed. Yeah, lemonade mom themed, and we're gonna get uh, Paige. He's gonna get her 
a little section in there. I'm just gonna get her a computer hopefully for some time. All right, it's gonna be awesome. Art supplies. Yeah, art supplies. I have lots of you know, paint and cardboard and all kinds of stuff in here. It's amazing. Than even Walmart. Eight pack for a dollar forty nine. All different colors, yeah. And they have the little things on them where you can hang like dr like mm -hmm. dresses and stuff. It's pretty cool. Now we've bought a lot of stuff from here, but we were, we were planning on selling the house and moving out and gonna go RVing and stuff. But change of plan. So like this over here, that thing right there, we had a couple of those. Actually, it wasn't that, but it had the bins in it. I'll find it and show you guys. Ah, it was this right here. We had two of these things with the bins in them. Uh, all kinds of different colors. And uh, we loved it. But we've decided to change plans and we're going to stay in the house for a little while. So we're going to get it the way we want it. And it's going to be awesome. We'll, got, we'll bring you guys uh, all the footage and videos and the fun times from all that. Why do you want that? Our kids are not that little. I feel like they would have fun putting their stuff in it and pulling it around. Rose is totally going to take a ride in that. I know, right? It'd be cute. It's not telling me where it is. Good. Let's keep it that way. This isn't it. Oh. Toy storage with casters. I got to go. She's spending money. Alright, so she picked up that little uh, caster on wheels. Or the little storage thing on wheels, but this is like seating and tables, and they just have all kinds of cool, fun stuff for the kids to play with. Little tables. Let's go follow her over here. Where's she going? Where's she going? Excuse me. Little dress-up stuff that they have here. All kinds of linens and bedding and everything. Cool little uh, um, mats for the flooring. And all kinds of cool pillows. They have a cloud and a little heart with arms on it to give yourself a hug with. Pretty neat. Some of the baby, baby stuff. Thank goodness all of our babies are no longer this much of a baby. So they're just like mom and dad's babies at this point. But still pretty neat. Oh, yeah, ton, tons of little baby toys and stuff. Pretty, I mean, it's just amazing. The, like, I, when, I, when I said earlier, guys, that, like, your entire house could be Ikea, I meant your entire house. Like, to your, from your silverware, to your knobs, to your kids' little playthings, the whole thing can be Ikea. Everything. The only thing I don't think they have for selling here are the toilets and the bathrooms. Everything else can be yours for the low, low price of IKEA 99. I mean, they have little toy kitchens and stuff, which pretty pricey. Um, but oh yeah, yeah. And so for the kitchen, they have like the little play sets and everything. And the the food, it's all cloth. It's like stuffed animal type stuff. Pretty neat. Beads. More arts and crafts. Butcher paper. They're doing arts and crafts on. Little train sets. All kinds of toys. What's up? Little dollhouse. Don't you think that would be perfect for like the blind bag toys? Like yeah. little pet shop. Maybe. Not without the furniture, like just this, and you get your own. Like they sell little sets. Yeah. It's only thirty dollars. It's new. That's really cute, and because of it, it's this, you can paint it yourself, whatever you wanted to do. With yeah. It. That's really cute. She didn't buy it, guys. Not yet, at least. It's a moral victory at this point. But it could be hollow. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We had this, something like this. Got rid of that. Bryce is too old for it. 
So, there's really cool, cool stuff in here. Well, she's heading back that direction, boys and girls. So they have books, but then they have puppets to go with the books. Cool. And one of the really cool things I think about IKEA is that nothing's really branded. Like you're not coming in here and you're not buying like Disney stuff or or uh, Peppa Pig or anything like that. You're you're just kind of buying just some animals and some toys and stuff. What do you think about this? I think you know what I think about that. Oh, and we just got that My Little Pony one. We did. I feel like this would work out better than the My Little Pony one. What do you guys think? Should she get it? They said no. <laughs> no. Fine. We just got them that My Little Pony thing. I told you to wait till we got here. She didn't listen. She never listens. They sell furniture, guys. That's amazing. That's awesome. Slippers, all kinds of stuff. Kids area. the marzipan cream cake. I don't get marzipan at all though. Okay, well bye. All right, so now we're in the marketplace and this is where you can come and find all the little knickknacks and goodies that you've seen on your trip through here. <clears throat> and it's very much like the rest of the store where it kind of snakes around and uh, the whole area and then you just kind of Hopefully you've written everything down and you find what you want are, here. So these are bag clips. Yeah. See, they take up less room than the. Oh yeah, they look like they work better too. Do they clip really good? Yeah, they keep, they keep it more fresh. Yeah. That's crazy. Look how many come in a thing. Set of thirty. Oh, for three dollars, yeah, bag clips. That's crazy. Do you want to get some? I don't know if we need thirty. Well, that's the only thing. Well, yeah, you get ten for dollar ninety-nine. Oh. Oh, uh, these colors. Oh well, it's fine. I mean, yeah, if you want to get the colored ones, but red, white, and blue. What's wrong with red, white, and blue? I know. Not. Eliminate mom's un American. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so she just saw that and she just spent like two bucks right there. Bam. Well, so we started out with just a bag. Because I was like, okay, and we're now, just going to get a bag. It so grew into good. a cart. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so now, yeah, now now is where the real punishment happens because this is like the this is like the equivalent of the little impulse area they have right by the cash register at Walmart, except it's really big and there's lots of stuff. Big impulse. <laughs> yeah, it's the same size as the store. This is the bottom level, and so there's all kinds of little knickknacks and I mean just really cool stuff that you can buy here. Yeah. Really cool stuff that you can buy. Glassware, uh, pillows, blankets, maybe some towels probably. But pretty uh, pretty cool. And there's just really there's all kinds of little cool gadgets and stuff down here. But for those of us with self-control, it's not a big deal. 
are you trying to say? <laughs> hey, I think the people on your channel know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I know the people that own Stitch Fix know what I'm trying to say. I just walked through a whole section without touching anything. Yeah, because it's all bedding and stuff. We already have, we're already good for that. Hilarious. Toilet brush holder, 99 cents. <laughs> we need some new ones. <laughs> so. Yeah, well. This is like what, called a stock room, maybe? Stock area? Yeah, so this is the self serve area. So as you're going through and you're picking out all your items, you're writing them down on your little card here. <clears throat> There's aisles and bins. It kind of, if you've ever been to Sam's Club or Costco or a big store like that, you'll see everything. I have a little more things, a few extra things in my cart now. Yeah. I'm making a family, like, home, what did I call it? A family Com center. Command center. Command center. Where we have all of our stuff at, so. The kids' backpacks and to tack up there, you know, important papers from school so we can see them all the time and we don't find yeah. anything. Yeah. So, um, but you write down everything and then you come in here and you, there, there's people here to help you find some stuff, but for the most part, you'll see it here as I round the corner. <laughs> it's huge. And this is where you find all your, all your big furniture pieces and stuff that, and your chairs and everything. All, all the little knickknacks and everything are in the marketplace, but all your stuff is here. Uh, aisle uh, eight is the next aisle. Uh, bin 23. So you find your aisle and your bin, and if you've been keeping track of your paper, you're writing down the names of things. And I would suggest if you guys are going to Ikea, you take a picture of stuff too, so you know what it is that you're, that you're kind of getting. <clears throat> we're gonna, it's gonna be a little tough for us this time because we're not quite prepared to get everything that we thought we were gonna get, so. Um, the hmm? What's it called? Uh, that's the Lin Mon. Tabletop, um, so it's for the desk. So that's for the desk, so we don't want to do that. Yeah, so it's the desk, so we're not doing that just yet. <clears throat> but I would suggest taking pictures. Yeah, because now I wrote this stuff down, but I can't remember what's what. Yeah, so there's only like one thing we really want to kind of get right here, right now. 